Hello, I am Shelby Svoboda from Tri-County Hospital and today I thought I should meet with you to give you a better idea of the staffing needs we have and what type of a market we're dealing with. Um, first of all, we need to look that currently our hospital needs six new registered nurses or RNs if you will. But what we're looking at now is it's an extremely competitive market for registered nurses. This is a problem that not only Tri-County Hospital is facing but the entire country. It's a combination of not enough nurses that are graduating from their relative schools, long hours that many nurses are required to hold, and finally that there are simply more patients. Um, as the baby boomers are aging, there are more health needs, and with that there are more individuals needed to meet those needs. So today I think I'll look at it from doing a SWOT analysis of what our hospital is currently facing and then I'll explain to you why it's so important that we increase the RN wages as well as add incentives. So first of all, uh, a SWOT analysis or looking at the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of not just our hospital but the industry is one way to kind of analyze our company against other ones. So first of all, one of our strengths is that we're a community hospital. We're in a town of only 25,000, and so we have a very community atmosphere. We have a short commute time for many nurses who are used to, used to larger hospitals where they have long travel distances. This is definitely a strength. And also, as a small town, we have a relatively low crime rate. A weakness is that we do have smaller facilities, and this means that we offer less specialized surgeries. So nurses hoping to get more experience around patients recovering from specialized surgeries, we can't offer that currently. Uh, opportunities are that we're a great place for family, nurses with families to locate to. We can draw from our local population and also that since we don't currently most likely have specialists in multiple fields, we could draw a specialist that would be the only one of its type in the area. And finally a threat is larger hospitals and just the current job market. These are all things that are big threats to us. So first, why we have to increase the salaries and incentives is because it's simply what the industry demands. Scarcity drives up the market value of a nurse and currently supply is much less than demand. So the way that we're going to try to draw these nurses to us is by building long-term relationships with top schools and by offering incentives to them, which I'll come back to in a second. Next, we need to look at when and where we're going to recruit these nurses. We don't want to attract the individual that on their second or third major decides that nursing sounds like a nice option. We want the cream of the crop. So individuals that uh, are going into nursing will know that right out of high school. And we need to make sure that we're looking at high schools by doing career fairs at these high schools and doing college fairs so that way they realize that nursing is a field that they should go into and after nursing, we're a company that's willing to offer incentives possible loan repayment for these. So are you talking about our local high schools and stuff? I think definitely local high schools but also high schools in the bigger cities. Uh, mm -hmm. We can I think we should draw from more than just our 25,000 population base because we want definitely the top people and not saying that our community doesn't have some of the finest but we would be hurting ourselves if we didn't expand our, our search. Okay. Um, I think we should also go to colleges not just in our community but definitely the larger nursing community colleges, the ones that nursing isn't just an option you can do at the school but it's what the school specializes in. I think we need to go to their orientations from day one and let them know that when they graduate we are an option for them. Uh, we need to look at the career fairs and the open houses, and we also need to advertise in prestigious medical magazines. If individuals are doing case studies and looking at different research publications, if we can put our name out there and possibly have our current doctors and nurses publish in these magazines, we, we become a very visual representation of what our company is, so that way they know who we are. And finally, retention. That is the most important thing in this economy because it is far, far less expensive to retain an employee than to have to recruit a new one. Mm -hmm. And so this is where we go back to the incentives. Many other companies offer tuition reimbursement, increased salaries, and additional benefits. Some of the benefits that we haven't heard of a lot of other companies doing that we think would work well for our hospital is pot potentially hour sharing, where you could split a shift in half, especially for mother working mothers. This makes it so uh, if a mother wants to be able to send her student off to school in the morning, one nurse could work the morning shift and she could then work the afternoon shift. Mm -hmm. And we think this is a very effective way that we wouldn't be losing any money, we wouldn't be paying anyone any less, they'd still be being paid for the hours, but it's much more flexible. And, and it doesn't cost us any extra money as owners? No, unless they're in the only way that we'd have additional costs 
costs is if we ended up paying them overtime and we could set up a scheduling system where we didn't need to pay them overtime. Mm -hmm. And also I think we need to build relationships. We need to let them know that they're not just important to us but their families are or whatever their interests are. How are we going to do that? I think we should get them involved in the community. We could have a day where uh, they'd be paid like they were working a normal day but they'd go into the community and they could do a Habitat for Humanity or work at the local food bank and I think that's one way that we could build relationships with them in relation to the hospital, but with their families, I think the importance of a family picnic or a small enough community that we could do a hospital picnic or a just a very open environment where we encourage spouses or children to come to the cafeteria on breaks. I think we just need to let them know that we realize that working is very important to us and very important to them, but it's not their whole life, and we don't expect it to be. And so we think that if we let them see that we're interested in them as a whole package and not just as a nurse, we're going to be able to recruit and retain individuals that are looking for more than just a career. And I think that's extremely important because the economies of a satisfied employee is simply that it's much cheaper to keep them and keep them happy than it is to try to replace them or try to rebound them when their morale dips. Yeah, retention seems to be really big. You're telling us it's, it's that important to keep these folks on instead of having to recruit again. Definitely. It really is because not only is it expensive to recruit again, but if we've already recruited the top tier and they've left, now at best we're looking at second tier. And so not only does our quality dip, but also our costs increase, which are two things you never want in a business. Hmm. Very interesting. I, I like your concept of the, you know, the recruiting with used when you're the job fairs and, 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 the, and the magazines. That was uh, something I hadn't thought of, and, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, that it is very effective. And I like the idea that you're, you're using both your, you know, your the high school and, and the colleges in terms of career fairs. Uh, so Thank you very I think much. you've got a good plan. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. All right. Yeah, I think it's good too. I think we're going to do a lot of stuff, or you can do a lot of stuff for us without really costing us a, whole a bunch lot of money because we still want to make money. But I, I like what you said that it's important to kind of keep the employees happy and kind of retain them. Definitely. Because we don't want to have to go through this again five years, away, especially in the market that we're in, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. That's all I have. All right. Great approach. All right. Well, thank you very much. Good.